I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with, Three of Wands, and it's it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Cups. Three of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Now, when the Three of Wands appears, you could um, um, found that your finances, they were going much better. In fact, it would have been a time when you felt like your ship had finally arrived. So you could have been feeling very strong with a good reason. You probably finally experienced some important success after you had been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it does indicate that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. Now, it's with the Ten of Cups, the card below the word pass. Now, this is another one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. This card, it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really, really good card to get in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in their reading. Yeah, it speaks of happy family life. Even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also, also be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture here. It's, but yeah, it's a part of the picture too. Now, this is a good card to see, like I said, regardless of any question. So, basically, Libra, Three of Wands clarified by the Ten of Cups. So, what I'm picking up on is that, for some of you, you were trying to make a decision should you go towards this person, but it looks like things worked out. You were no longer trying to make a decision. You tried at one point, and then you realized that you, you should go forward. You made a decision. You're going forward. And that's what you did. And you were looking ahead um, with growth and expansion towards this person. And they could have been feeling the same way about you because with the Ten of Cups, it's, uh, it's, um, it's about feeling like your dreams are coming true. So, and it's just overall, just things going really well. It's about happiness. Good things to come. And everything is just, it just felt right. So you got on board. And your person was on board with you. That's what I'm picking up. Things went really well for you and your person with this recent past energy. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Six of Pentacles, and it's with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. It could be with, with regards to money, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can indicate money, cash, coins, finance, income. It speaks of Equality, it speaks of fairness, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or maybe the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now it's with the Nine of Cups. This is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards you get in a reading. Yeah, uh, Libra, you got Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups in your reading. This is pretty good so far. Pretty darn good, yeah. Now, like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. You got it. 
And you got the Nine of Cups. So, just know that this Nine of Cups, it's often known, it is often known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card can be about happiness, good things to come. It can usually mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So coming up, Libra, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. So, you know, like I said, the recent past energy is showing that you, you, you got on board. You were no longer trying to figure out, should you go towards this person? And you did. You made a decision to go for it. And it, it, things, it looks like with the Ten of Cups, things were going just wonderful. Now, coming up, it's shown that with this uh, Six of Pentacles, it's showing that it's going to be a good relationship, and it's going to prosper. That's what Six of Pentacles can mean when we talk about relationships. Very good relationship. Your person could start, um, they'll probably start doing a lot of nice things for you. Because Six of Pentacles, it can be about generosity. It can be. I'm just speaking up. They're going to start doing a lot of nice things for you, making you feel really special. And um, they feel blessed and satisfied to have you. Because the Nine of Cups, when he talks about love and relationships, there's a very strong desire with the Nine of Cups. This person will have, this is how they'll be feeling about you. They'll feel blessed and satisfied with like I said, with a very strong desire for you. You are their wish come true. Yeah, so they'll, like I said, with the Six of Pentacles here, and they'll probably start to show you how much they find you to be their wish come true. They'll probably start doing a lot of sweet things for you, maybe buying you nice gifts or just doing nice things for you. Yeah, so... Let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Okay, we got Temperance, and it's with the Sun card. Now, with Temperance, um, although your relationships are likely to be going quite well, you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way, and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them, because the idea would be to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and, and with any goals and aspirations. With any goals and aspirations that you might have. Now, it's with the sun card. This sun card, um, things are likely to be going really well. Um, however, even though your finances, they're in good shape when you get the sun card. Just keep in mind, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. Now, for some of you, I know it is. But just keep in mind, it's going to be a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, the sun card, it signifies it's right around the corner. So, your challenge, temperance clarified by the sun. So, you, yeah, uh, Libra, with temperance here, it's showing that you're going to really start to feel like things are coming together. You're going to feel like your life is balancing out. And you're going you're gonna to realize that this, this person, this connection, all that's going on is making you really happy. Because the sun card is about... Um, adding sunshine to your life or their life or them to yours. It's about bright and happy times. So yeah, you it's showing that a lot of happiness is coming your way and you're going to feel balance. And I'm kidding, for a lot of you, you haven't felt that way in a while. Well, at least before you came together, 
with this person or before you decided to go forward and you made when you made a decision to go forward and connect with this person I'm getting before this your life was probably not as balanced but now things are feel like things are coming together and you're very happy yeah so let's move over let's take a look and see what the outcome is we've got the six of wands <coughs> and it's with uh, queen of pentacles <coughs> now the six of wands it signals victory so yeah this reading is going really good for things will be looking really good for a lot of you uh, Libras coming up you got all good cards here the, uh, the six of wands is another good card it signals victory recognition so if you're anxious about a court proceeding or if you want to win your lover's heart just know you'll be victorious this can indicate any kind of celebration you could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done the six of wands can make you feel really really good about yourself you could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing now it's with the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles it can indicate that you could be spending time money energy on your home getting it to be more comfortable and this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt because people could be looking to you for insight and or advice you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so this is also a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished so your outcome Libra six of wands clarified by the Queen of Pentacles so yeah the outcome is um, actually really good six of wands yeah it's it's indicating that the two of you will be really really into each other um, to me the six of wands is it's like a twin flame type of energy or a deep deep soulmate it feels that way because when you get the six of wands at a reading and it talks about love and relationships it suggests that you maybe for put it this way for example you, you could be the type that needs need someone to boost your ego while the other person they're perfectly fine doing the boosting doing the admiring this is called fire of balance the two of you feed off of each other energetically and with this you get a lot of sexual energy there's a lot of passion and there's long nights spent in bed so a lot of chemistry um, you could feel like like I said you're with a strong soulmate or someone that just gets you someone that just you get them and they get you um, if you take a look at the six of wands it's the card above the word outcome yeah this lady she's standing on the podium and she has all these people below her she's waving her wand in the air and they're doing exactly what she's doing they're mirroring her and she's getting recognition and attention and it feels like victory and success so yeah you you and your person it's showing you two will make magic or everything's gonna feel like magic uh, a lot of chemistry here a lot of passion now because it's with this Queen of Pentacles um, you might start to realize that um there is things that you maybe you've been um slacking on maybe things are going so good here this is such a good reading um 
Because you've got happiness, you've got wishes coming true, you've got dreams coming true. You've got um, going forward. You're no longer stuck on trying to decide what to do. You're going forward with this connection. And your person, they're appreciating you. They're being kind to you. They're being generous to you. And it's, everything's feel, it's feeling balanced. And it feels like your relationship, your life is finally coming together with temperance here. You're happy and they're happy. But it's showing that you, you're going to need to remember other things. Like, if you look at the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card that's below the word outcome. Yeah, this lady, she's sitting in her backyard. She's sitting in her lounge chair. And she's... Um, She's, she's checking her bank account. She's smiling, so she's got money in the bank. So you're going to have to remember to check your, check your finances. Don't forget your dog. He's trying to pin you down there. Because you might be slacking on paying attention to your dog. He's pinning her down. He's sleeping on her toes so that she can't move. <laughs> yeah, and squirrels and birds. I'm sorry, I had to laugh at that because, um, you know, our animals, our pets, they really love us unconditionally. And a lot of times when things are going well in our lives, sometimes we slack off, especially if you've been spending a lot of time with someone else. So you got, you got the squirrels and, the, and your dog and the birds that come by. Yeah, you're remembering that, you know, it, you, you got other things and people that love you, too. So, yeah, so you just, the outcome is showing it's really good. Yeah, because you're going to be making magic with your person. So it will be really easy to forget the other things in life that um, miss you and appreciate you. So you could, you could just remember or decide to fall back a little from your person just a little I'm, I'm getting not a lot so that is the reading that i have for you libra i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i post my next reading i also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.